So I want to talk about openness in education as an invitation to participate. Now, we all know that open education is multifaceted, has different meanings and things, but over the 30 years that I've worked at the Open University, open as to people has been the most resonant part of the OU mission. Because I think it's being open to people that is really important. And that's people as individual learners, as temporary groups of learners, but also as members of more permanent organisations. So open education, I feel, enables people to connect in communities or networks. It provides people with an identity as a learner. It also provides those people with belonging. They can feel that I am not alone while I'm learning, even if I feel I'm on my own physically, but I can still connect by other means to other people. And it also means we can learn together. This is very much about a shared enterprise. Now, within the Open University, of course, open entry has been a big part of what openness has meant. And that removes some barriers to participation. But it doesn't remove all barriers. Open publication and open licensing of content as open education resources enables to remove other barriers, provide other means by which people connect with one another through that content. So I see openness as a mindset and an emotional reaction that influences behaviours in here rather than being a property of content or technology out there. During my time at the OU, I've been involved in many open educational activities. And one of them was as the original founding director of Open Learn. The design of Open Learn reflects this philosophy that I've been talking about. However, even though it is a platform through which people can access content and which they can, through other means, upload content and talk to each other, most of that socialising happens off platforms, off platform in other spaces and places. But it is still driven by people more than the content. So although we talk about the content, it's how the people use that content how that content goes out into the world and is used by different people in different ways. The content, open content, open education resources, are merely a mediating agent for learning together, whether that be synchronously, at the same time, in the same place, or asynchronously. We upload something, somebody doesn't use it for three years, but then they take it, do something with it, re-upload it somewhere else, somebody else uses it. We never know what will happen and how that content will connect people with other people through time and space.